Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a quick short video today on some interesting, two interesting things going on in my garden. And I'm trying something new. I'm recording this directly, I guess, to go up to YouTube without the intermittent step of editing. So I hope this works. I'm giving it a shot. I do know that you cannot pause and then restart and have that all upload as one video. So forgive me for this trial and error. It's just something I wanted to give a shot to. So a couple of months ago when I went to the garden show, I bought two passion flower vines and I had intended to put them in the ground against a fence um, to kind of create a privacy covering. Well, I have not gotten around to doing any of that. So I potted them up in a little bit bigger pot. And here is the purple and white one that has been growing beautiful for me. Um, I make sure it gets water. It's looking a little limp right now, so I'll definitely give it some water after this video. Um, I just have to watch that it doesn't try to attach itself to my nearby plants. There's my bay laurel tree, if you remember that, growing very nicely. Or the jasmine, which is also a climbing vine, and I have to watch that they don't intertwine themselves. Um, so I'm, I'm really pleased that this passion flower vine is maintaining its growth in the pot. And I do have beautiful blooms all the time. Every one of them has kind of been spent right now. But the thing I've noticed is that I have all these beautiful Gulf fritillary butterflies coming around. And one was flying around here. I don't know where he went now. Um, and since this time, I've not seen any monarchs. It's so interesting. So I see these orange butterflies flying around my passion flower and um, loving on my lantana, which you see here, which I've staked up so that it can grow more upright and I can kind of keep it shaped instead of letting it spread all over the ground. But I have not seen any monarch butterflies coming around the milkweed, which is their host plant. Very interesting. Now, I'll have to walk. I'll try to walk slow and watch for dog doo-doo. The other passion flower vine. And look at my chumpla flower. He's in need of a little bit of water. He looks like that every much, pretty much every day right before noon and then perks up a little. But um, the other passion flower vine. Ooh, and it is hot was a red crimson color. Up oh, there's one of the butterflies I'm talking about. Look at this thing. So this is apparently a host passion flower. And no, I haven't neglected it, but this is what these Gulf fritillary caterpillars that turn into butterflies feed on. This was also going to be planted in the ground next to the one I just showed you, but I'm kind of glad that my project didn't work because I don't know that I would want this decimated looking plant. I think it, it looks terrible, but I'm happy that it's doing its thing. And if I can, I, it's very sunny, so I'm not sure if you can see, I'm focusing in lots. See, I'm eating, there's the caterpillar. And here is one that is morphing into his cocoon and eventually will come out as one of these gulf butterflies. Oop, a bee, a bee, a bee, a bee. <laughs> oh, I don't like bees. <laughs> so this plant is definitely doing its job, but it just looks terrible. So, I mean, I'm going to keep it here since I have not gotten to the landscape project. There's another guy. I don't know if you can see him. I can't see what I'm filming. It's too bright. I've got quite a few on here and I know I have lots of orange butterflies. So I thought I would share that with you today. I think that's really cool, but where are the monarchs? And here's the milkweed on the other side, on the northeast side. He didn't fare well with all of the rain, so I cut him back. Um, he was loaded with aphids. So he'll regrow. And I checked, and there were no monarch eggs. And that was the other thing that kind of clued me in, that 
where are my monarch butterflies? Do they know and they compete with one another in the garden so they don't come around? So I don't know. Um, there is my poinsettia that was so beautiful. It does not like all the rain that we had. It dropped most of its leaves. Um, it will regrow. I have no doubt about that. So he just looks sad right now. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share that with you. Now the other thing I want to share, and like I said, I'm sorry, I can't pause and, um, and I would turn around and face me, but I'm like literally still in my pajamas. I got to go to work today. I have up front here two beautiful agaves. I don't know the names of them. If any of you out there know what they are, they're just beautiful. And I had kind of made this little landscape under my palm tree. Oh, I don't know, about five months ago. And here is my other agave, absolutely gorgeous. And I noticed, um, well, first, here are the oyster plants that I bought at the Garden Festival also that I, you can see how beautiful they're growing and how they're just duplicating. These are such great plants to have in your garden collection. Uh, Moses in the Cradle, they're called. Oyster plants, Tradescantias. And that is an Ixora, also a beautiful plant. But check this out. So here's this agave. He's growing really nice. He's small and compact, and I like that so we don't stab ourselves. And I notice, oh wow, look, I have a baby, a pup. And then I realized, wow, look at this. He must be throwing out a runner underneath the ground, and I have three new popping up all the way over here. So when the weather gets cooler, I'm gonna have to figure out how do I get these guys out without harming them? Do I let them grow as big as this before I cut them out? If anybody knows anything about agaves, I would appreciate it. So yeah, I've got one, two, three. Right? Yeah, right there. Popping its head out. So I found that so interesting, and that's kind of nice. Uh, my other agave here is also producing pups, and I know I gotta let them grow bigger, that's for sure. There's one there. And then this baby next to the mama has grown really, really big. And there is another one tucked away back there. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys today. I think that is really cool. Um, I love it. I don't see any more runners going this way, but I didn't know the agaves did that. And if anybody knows the name of these two, I would appreciate it. You can see my shadow. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed my short video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Keep planting. We'll see ya.